Well, hello, Sonic Moto fans. It feels like it's been about a year since I've been on the motorcycle, only because I haven't been on the motorcycle in two days. Yeah, I think I took two, maybe three days off of the motorcycle, and that yellow motorcycle up there I saw earlier while I was uh, cruising around town. Nice. Yeah, anyway, we got some few added accessories to the motorcycle today. We've got ourselves a Nelson Rig Sport Bag. I think it's like the 1050. I'll include the link in the description below, as well as a photo onto the screen. That way you know exactly what it is. I also picked up a new USB cable because the one that I have on here seems to be hit or miss on the charging cycles. So I'm not sure what that's all about. So here's the little... Uh, Paddly Delio that's on my, uh, what you call it, my who's And, uh, give that a little bit more angle. Can I get, uh, it doesn't like to angle itself. Yeah, like, there's a little bit of rubber, uh, underneath it because my throttle, uh, grip isn't as thick, but it's just basically you can rest your, your hand on there without having to squeeze. It's great for long rides. This thing is only about $10. I think you can get it cheaper at, uh, like, your standard shop. What in the world is that thing? It's got, like, odd tires on it. What? Sport truck. Sport truck. Volkswagen sport truck. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Tiny wheels. Needs a new paint job. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably wondering though, why in the world Sonic Moto would you not be on the motorcycle in like two or three days? Because I'm, I'm for those that really know me, know that I'm on the motorcycle like daily, like absolute daily. Unless it's raining outside, I try to stay out of the rain. But it just, it just makes my skin crawl not being on a motorcycle. You start going crazy and sitting inside. In fact, I even went out in the car today. And, uh, <laughs> and I went to the local Five Guys Burger Joint, and they're like, hey, aren't you the guy that's always on the motorcycle? I'm like, yes, I am. <laughs> so clearly I got a Five Guys too much as well. It's actually nice and warm out today. I think it's about 70, 65 outside. It's probably, it's probably at this time of day about 65 right now. But it got to like 70. Uh, it was just gorgeous. And of course, I wasn't on the motorcycle because over the weekend I clocked about like 600, 500 miles and I like to clean and lube my chain every 400 miles. So being that that wasn't done in over 400 miles, I decided to spare the chain some torture and uh, just not ride the motorcycle a little bit. So there, there's the proper excuse. Just, just keep an eye out on my, uh, my chain and sprocket set. It's keeping them nice and happy like they like to be. That way nothing goes snap or crunch and my motorcycle goes flying. Uh, I don't even know. See, I got the shorter mount for the, uh, the ram mount here. I'm going to have to do something with it because the phone is now up in a spot where um, I can't see all my instrument cluster. I think like down here at the bottom, one of those is the fuel light. And I like to see my fuel light. That's kind of important. So I might go with the longer arm again. Not sure. We're still charging though, I believe we are. Still charging, 45%. Jeez, my phone battery went crazy low today. Does anyone else like hate it when their phone battery's low? I do. Try to keep it charged. That way when I go out and I want power with me, it's nice to charge, don't to worry about battery power. Phones are like, stupid expensive these days. Uh, you get a phone, it's like $500, or if you go with an Apple phone, it's like $1,000. And like, I don't want to put, that's like five motorcycle payments for me. I, I could drop, I could buy a Honda Grand for like $500 or $1,000. I don't need a freaking phone to be that expensive. Does, does anyone want to agree with me on that? Please say you agree with me on that. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to do some exploring. Um, I passed the road that I was going to turn right at. But we're going to make a U-turn and head our way down there because we can on a motorcycle life. But yeah, I always go up this road and then turn left into this parking lot. And we have five guys there. But I've never seen what is straight. And it looks like some decent twisties here that I wanted to explore. Hoping to do it without a truck and trailer and SUV. But... Take your time, I suppose, and go slow. 
back roads, probably uh, likelihood of deer. Don't know the road conditions. I do have the uh, winter gloves on because it's at that point where you start moving and it gets cold. But I definitely don't have them plugged in because it's way too warm for them to be plugged in. Ooh, bumpy. Hey, where does this go to? Not familiar with this business center on the right. <laughs> Yay! The trailer turned off. Make a decision. We go left or right. Let's go right. Let's see what's on the right. If we go straight, I sort of know what that is. Oh, I think I know what this road is. Uh, oh man, yeah. I know exactly where we are. This circles us around in a big old loop. And therefore, I know what left goes to. <laughs> anyway, let's get ourselves some fuel, reset our trip out down the tour, and we'll take it from there. Whoa, what in the world is this? Oh, it's a car. Was <laughs> it odd that I was looking at the bottom? I was like, what in the world is that on the road? Like a patch of debris on the road, something I didn't want to hit. I just didn't see the car. That's scary. <laughs> Ugh, I should not even laugh about that. Let's not rear-end any vehicular devices on four wheels today. 